this is Sofia Martinez with the Sacred Oracle Card Sundays and I am so happy to be here with you today. To begin, I'm going to invite you to take a deep breath in into your heart center. Begin to tune in into the pulsing of your heart. I'm going to invite you to imagine that you're opening the gates of your heart, inviting the infinite aspects of you to be here with you today to take a larger space within you and as you're connecting with a larger aspect of you i'm going to invite you to to set an intention for this reading if there's something that you're searching for more clarity in your life i'm going to invite you to do that and i'm going to pull the first card from the Healing Waters from Rebecca Campbell. It's a deck that I absolutely adore. Um, all, of, all of her decks, really. And let's see what comes through. And the first card is Gentle, Gentle Force. Ripple effect at the bottom of the deck. Part of something bigger. Details are taken care of. Beautiful. And so, consistency, persistence, patience, the long game. There is something here that you are reaching. And there is a sense where this, this transformation, this journey, this creation is asking you to be consistent with its creative energy, persistent, patient, to nurture, continue nurturing this energy. Maybe it's yourself, maybe it's a project, maybe it's a new way of being. Okay, let's pull. From um, Oracle of the Universe. Hmm. Guardianship. Draco. The dragons are such a beautiful energy. I don't know if you can see it. And to me, this energy is about um, ownership. Ownership of your gifts, ownership of your um, number 28. Maybe there's something insignificant there about that number for you. Um, I just wanna quickly read Hmm. I am the guardian of my own true self. Uh, that's that was a feeling that I was getting. There's something that you're creating. There's a change that you are creating in your life, and maybe this is about the question. Um. There's something, a choice that you have made. Um. Change some way that you're transforming in your life. It could be, um, a creation of a prox project a uh, transformation in your life maybe a transformation in a way of being of habits of way of thinking something that you have been focusing on for the last little while maybe it's you've been thinking about a, a move a change maybe it is uh, something that you have been creating maybe it is you've been thinking of bringing your gifts into the world and you've been designing um, how to bring that message into the world. And so there's a way where it's keep at it, keep being patient, keep being nourishing and nurturing. You're building a strong foundation and take ownership of your gifts, of your true self, of who you truly are, and also take 
guardianship of your creation if it's something that you're a project that you're building is just own it you know just feel proud of what you're creating and trust the energy of that which that you're creating um if it's something a change that you're creating in your life just bring a self-nurturing being patient with yourself if it's a change of habit being patient with yourself staying focused in what you are doing and what for you're doing it for um for whom you're doing it for um let's see let's pull from the earth warriors and this is from Alana Fairchild, I love this, this cards hopefully will give you a better sense, mm, beautiful, yeah, the divine feminine revealed, there's a way you're transforming, you're transforming the way of that you're thinking, you're transforming the way you're connecting to your life, to your higher self and the the one that came to, i love this this look and 27 came through pono pono unmeasurable power of the heart way there's something that you're following your heart and it requires patience it requires trust and dedication to continue nurturing that trust of following your heart, of following that path. Um, it requires a certain guardianship, perhaps, of your heart. Of, of Let's see, because this is um, Ho'oponopono as well. Um, the heart has the power to heal in a way that the mind cannot understand. Do not allow your mind to distract or frighten you. You are a beautiful child of the universe and divine love lives within your heart. A willing heart is all that you need to transform any situation that is troubling you. Recognizing this power does not evoke feeling of pressure or anxiety, but um, rather a peace and joy. Lightness of heart and relief of mind are here for you now. Hmm. The divine within your heart has the power to transform a situation that is troubling you. Do not intimidate it or think, do not be intimidated or think it is too much for you or the divine to handle. Do not allow yourself to, um, intellectualize or analyze a situation to the point of feeling confused or paralyzed healing through the heart on any and all issues that have plagued you or a loved one can and will happen let your heart feel the faith it needs to feel so that it can rest in join divine healing wants to flow abundantly for you open up to receive it without hesitation or condition there is a perfection of peace beauty and fulfillment that the divine has planned for the lives of all beings the divine dwells in your heart and as a healing power and wisdom will tenderly alleviate suffering, liberating the body, mind, and soul. There is a measurable power of the hard way. In the Hawaiian tradition from which it emerges is known as Ho'oponopono, or to set things right. The hard power thrives through the simple four steps practice that can be done by anywhere and anywhere for any person or situation that they would wish to transform. So why is everyone just doing this and healing the world right now? Is it because only those who have come far enough on their spiritual path to have placed the hard wisdom above the dictates of the mind will be able to accept the practice? Hmm. The practice 
is um, let's see if it share is shared here yeah here okay I am sorry I am responsible for this situation I feel sorry for this let your heart be compassion as you might feel the emotion that is evoked by what you say please forgive me as for forgiveness you don't need to think whom you are asking it of please forgive me as you speak these words feel the remorse you connect with thank you again it doesn't matter who you're thanking and I love you so I am sorry I am responsible for this situation I feel sorry for this please forgive me thank you I love you beautiful okay let's pull some um, some tarot but I'm just gonna move those cards a little bit further up something that you are not seeing as the tower and the principles are coming there might be an opportunity coming up that you're not yet seeing oh justice yes okay there's something that it's coming into balance into alignment you know, as we were bringing the Ho'oponopono, the justice card came out and there's something of um, divine justice, you know, um, of order. I truly believe that when we connect with the frequency of love, with the frequency of the heart, there's a natural order that happens that when you have been thinking and confused with the mind, when you drop into your heart, there's a natural balance that occurs. And that's a justice that just popped out out of the deck. So I'm gonna, yeah, you've been you've been sad about something. Something's been causing you grief and disappointment and disillusionment in your life. Maybe it hasn't been just one thing. Maybe it's something. Maybe this project, something that you've been working on, it hasn't been, you know, get perhaps getting the results that you wanted, and um just keep trusting keep trusting in your heart maybe you're doubting your heart in something in your life um call call for the energy of of the spirit of the water and the dragons that are protecting protecting you and your heart the wisdom of your ancestors as well and the way of your heart the wall of the heart also it's seen as you know christ Christ consciousness, a sacred heart, that is the the way of of, of the heart. Um, okay, let's pull some cards for your body and see. Ooh, there's two cards that pop out. Yeah, there's something that you're overthinking that you feel anxious about. There's something that you want to put to rest. And it might be anxiety, it might be overthinking, overanalyzing. Hmm. Yeah, you want to move away from this uh, state of, of being. You might feel that you're stuck something in, in a way. And nourish your body. Nourish your body in the sense of feeling, allowing yourself to feel your emotions and bring do some practice of of movement of uh feeling your emotions maybe journaling maybe dancing being outside in nature uh maybe a massage just bringing a sense of satisfaction to the level of your body whatever that is just ask your body what it needs to feel satisfied to be to feel nurtured because the nine of cups is an energy of pure satisfaction is this man that has you know eaten it's it's um, this is a sense of fulfillment 
So, so maybe you are. There's two two things. One, you might feel like you accomplished something that where you're feeling fulfilled at the level of the physical level. It could be literally your body or something that you have completed. If it was a project, you begin to feel fulfilled in that. There's going to be a shift where you begin to feel fulfilled. Find the ways that you have been progressing in this project, if it's a project, in your decision, how you've been progressing in your life. There's a journey that you have been walking, an emotional journey that you have been walking. Look at each cup, in which way you have been progressive, progressing, in which way every single perhaps challenge that you have faced has taught you something. What have you learned? How, how have you transformed in this journey, in this process? Yeah, there's something coming up and there's indecision. Um, okay, let's pull for your mind. <laughs> and maybe it just, you know, it just came through. Mm. Yeah, like the emperor at the bottom of the la of the deck um, is telling me to make the decision. You know what it is. Stay consistent and patient. Stay focused and uh, trust. Trust in how you're feeling. Trust the feeling in your body of satisfaction and fulfillment when you're moving in the direction of that which you're following your heart there's an energy that you're following within yourself and it requires of you to clear your mind to be consistent in the way of thinking this is clarity this is decision this is transformation there's a butterfly on top of her head this is direct connection with your intuition it's you know there's the quote of the uh, the caterpillar it didn't know it was turning into a butterfly it thought it was there was a certain death happening when it turned into a butterfly there's something that is happening in your life at the level of 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 who you are yes look king of swords and queen of swords are both coming there's a way that There's a way that something is becoming clear. And it speaks about this, owning your true self, who you are. And it requires the focus of the masculine energy and the nurturing in mind and spirit of the feminine energy. Because the king and the queen of swords has showed up. There's a transformation that is happening at the level of your belief system. It speaks about opening to, to your true self, honoring truly who you are. Perhaps you've been in a path that you realize there was a way that you've been loyal to maybe ancestral, ancestral way of beings that are not opening possibilities for you are not in alignment with the truth of who you are and so let's pull for a card for for your spirit what is your spirit message oh wow look at that huh there's something that you're wrestling about. Or maybe you're breaking free from the five of wands. Maybe you're breaking free. Yeah, you're breaking free from something. Something in your life. Okay, what spirit is telling you? Spirit is guiding you. Trust. Because it requires trust of mind. Focus and trust. 
Hmm. The Six of Cups. Yeah. I feel that all is given. Just trust in your spirit. Trust in your soul. Make a list of what you're receiving in this moment. Am I trusting? Yeah, what are you holding on to? There's been pain in your life that you're holding on to some pain where you feel deceived, betrayed. So maybe somebody didn't show up the way you wanted it to show up, something didn't come through. Maybe you're even upset at your unquestioning your spirit, your soul. If it's guiding you in the right direction. And there's a sense here that spirit is telling you that it loves you so very much. Yeah, it wants to give you... Okay. Okay, so let's pull a card for um, your heart. Hmm heart for for the heart Oop, that's funny how that came like that mm, there's victory this is a card of victory you've been working really hard really hard to healing your heart this is victory this is following your inspiration following your heart following what inspires you that passion what lights you up and so i just want to pull one card yeah there's there's something that you need to become aware in in the way of thinking and in terms of your emotions um There's a way of reflecting on your journey and just noticing how you transformed and how you've been feeling, what is nourishing and filling up your cup and what is not. And maybe that's what you're doing. You're kind of reflecting of in your life about what is nourishing to you, what is not, what is truly important to you, what is not. And you're making a decision that requires, yeah. Yeah, look at that. You're making a decision where there's love that you're, a way of loving yourself. There's a way of divine union within yourself, within these two aspects of, of the feminine and the masculine, the way that perhaps you're not compassionate with yourself, you beat yourself up in the way of thinking and the nurturing aspect of you that brings the empress. There's something about your divine masculine and your divine um, feminine, something about your human self and trusting your soul, trusting your heart. And so I wanna pull one for, yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Mm, you're facing, you're facing the, you have faced. Wow, there's lots of ones there. Oh, I'm gonna start. Yeah, justice. There's something that is coming into order in your life. There's a decision. You're, this one's walking towards a future. And so look at all these cards. They're facing either yourself or the future, except the page of swords that is looking back into the past. And so there's a way you're reflecting and about your life. And notice where you get caught in the past. 
and projecting it into the future, into your present life and the future. The King of Swords is looking straight at you with a butterfly. So there's a way that you're looking at yourself. Maybe you're looking in, a, in yourself with more clarity. Maybe there's ways that you've been either disassociating um, with, with the truth of who you are. Uh, maybe you've been, you know, hard on yourself, as I said before. And there's a new way that you're seeing yourself through the eyes of love, through the eyes of your heart, of your true self, and you're giving yourself permission to be that. Um, there's a way that you're looking into your emotional self and what you truly want and what is important to you. And there's a way that you're looking at yourself with more clarity in the distortions, the ways that you've been seeing yourself through the filters of distortion. And the feminine is what is guiding you forward, nurturing, patience. Your soul is with you, it's giving you gifts of love and nourishing your inner child, nourishing all aspects of who you are and loving all aspects of who you are and following your heart, following your passions, your inspiration. Um, really noticing what lights you up and trusting that you have the capabilities to move through this transformation, that you have the inspiration, the creativity, and the power within you to move through this, um, this process of transformation that will lead you to your star, to what is truly important to you, to what lights you up to, to your dreams. And yeah, there's, there's something, oh, just move the sun. There's something that is becoming in order. Yeah. Yeah. That's really beautiful. That's what I have for you today. I'm sending you a big, big hug and love. And as always, in unity and love and cooperation for you, for each other, and the planet. Thank you so much. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.